Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about all of the books that I will hopefully be reading in January. This is my January TBR, the books that I will hopefully read next month. And I'm very excited to talk to you about them because I am so excited to read these books. Like I am looking forward to every single one of these books. So hopefully, crossing my fingers, I can actually read all of them. <laughs> Because I really do. Like, these are books that are high on my TBR that I've just been dying to read. So first, I would love to mention a new release that's coming out in January. It's coming out on January 31st, and I plan to read it that day. <laughs> it's Argel's Resonance by Ruby Dixon. This is the first book in her new series, which is the Ice Planet Clones series. If you read A Fleur's Fiasco, the ending of that, you know how that ended. And so this is taking up after that and it is starting a new series by Ruby. I'm really excited for this because we have new aliens coming in to the series that we haven't met yet but then also some aliens we already know of that are from the ice home and the regular Krokotoan beaches. If you don't know what IPB is you're probably very lost right now. It's an alien romance series um, that I love. Um, sorry if you can hear the cats screaming by the way. I just realized they've been screaming. <laughs> They're playing with each other right now. Anyway, um, I am really looking forward to this. Um, at the end of Flores Fiasco, you got a glimpse into our Jaws book, um, who is one of the Sakui aliens on this planet. And I am so excited, so ready to read his romance. I then want to mention two books that will be coming in um, on my Libby next month in January. First, we have Raven Unveiled. Unveiled. That word is so hard for me. Raven Unveiled. Unveiled? I have no clue. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this book by Grace Draven. <laughs> um, this is her third book in the Fallen Empire series. This came out earlier in 2022 and I have not gotten around to it because I really wanted to listen to it on audio because Grace Draven's audios are fantastic. I love all of them and so every time there is an audio I need it immediately. So yeah this came out all the way at the beginning of November and I'm gonna get around to it in January and I am so excited. I don't know anything about this. This is her third book in her fantasy romance series. She has many fantasy romance series but this is the Fallen Empire fantasy romance series and I adore the series so much. Another one that's coming in January for me on Libby is uh, Kiss My Cupcake by Helena Hunting. I just on a whim decided to put some of the books on my physical TBR like find the audios for them on my Libby and just request holds. This has taken months to come in. And I haven't heard like anybody talk about this book. I'm like, why is this book so hard to listen to on Libby? Like, why is it taking so long to get to me? What is it with this book? <laughs> this is the romance between Ronan and Blair. So Blair um, is opening a cupcake and cocktail shop in this town. Um, but what she doesn't expect is on her opening day, the place next door to her hers, is, which is an old school sports bar, is opening the very same day and is run by Ronan. Oh, it's also an axe throwing thing? He has axe throwing at his place? Oh, that's so funny. Anyway, uh, apparently Blair and Ronan are constantly trying to one-up each other in a battle to win new customers. So it's an enemies to lovers romance, I'm assuming. This just looks really cute. And I really liked the Pucked series by Helena Hunting, but then I've also didn't like her like tattoo series. I don't remember the name of it, but like the tattoo noodle series, I did not like those. And so I'm hoping this is more like pucked and I, I really enjoy it. I have three buddy reads that I'd love to mention. Uh, first is Scandalous Duke by Scarlett Scott. This is her fifth book in the League of Duke series. This is going to be a buddy read with Rachel from Rachel Reads and Sings. I love Rachel. And um, yeah, we've been reading this series, like one book in this series a month until we're done with it. And so this is the next one. So Felix in here, we met him in the previous book um, in this series. He's a Duke and he's a widower and he is a single father now. Johanna, um, she had to don a French accent and a stage name to escape the clutches of her violent father and then became the darling of New York City stage, who is now Rose Beaumont. Then her past life comes calling when her brother's reappearance in her life leads her to a dangerous web of deceit. She finds herself hopelessly trapped until she receives an offer she cannot refuse from London's most famous theater. Oh my gosh. Okay, it says, Felix's plan is clear. Bring the famed Rose of New York to London, secure her as his mistress, and drive his quarry to English shores. But the more time he spends with Johanna's company, the more he realizes nothing is as it seems. I love this series so much. Scott Scott's writing is absolutely addictive. If you have not read her books yet, you totally need to if you love historicals. And I feel like if you want to get into historicals, definitely pick this series up. I feel like it's a great stepping stone to getting into more historicals. Um, there's really good mystery plot lines in these books, and I absolutely hate 
mystery plot lines and romances. That's something that is a big ick for me. I don't care for it. This series is an exception, or maybe Scarlet Scott in general is an exception when it comes to mystery plot lines. They're always unique, and sometimes I don't see it coming. Like, I love them. I'm so excited to read this with Rachel. Next is Broken by the Horde King by Zoe Draven. This is her fourth book in the Horde Kings of Dakar series. Uh, just like I'm buddy reading one book in the series with Rachel every month, I think I'm doing this also with Victoria because <laughs> we buddy read book three in December, and we're going to read number four in January. This is an alien romance series that reads very fantasy, okay? If you are a fantasy romance reader and you really want to get into alien romances, this series is a great stepping stone for you. The aliens from this series really remind me of the Dothraki people from Game of Thrones, but there's some extra little spice thrown in there for them being aliens and all. I think this is a second chance romance and that's all I want to know. I'm so excited for this one and uh, to buddy read this with Victoria. We love this series so much. And the last buddy read that I'm going to be doing in January is one that I'm so excited for. A bestie Zay. I freaking love Zay so much. <laughs> I'm so excited for her. She's starting her booktube channel in January. I'm so, I'm so ready for it. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to stop gabbing about her because I can do it all day long. Okay. So we're going to be buddy reading Flawless by Elsie Silver because the audiobook just came out and I've never read Flawless <laughs> and I've heard great things about Elsie Silver. I've heard great things about this series in general. I love me a good cowboy so I'm so excited for this. I don't recollect a lot about the summary of this book. I think he's a bull rider and she's like his PR babysitter. So she like makes sure he doesn't get into trouble. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's what this is. Anyway, I don't want to know a lot going into it. Um, I know this is some people's like favorite book of the entire year as well as Heartless, which is book two. And so we're going to be ready reading this. Zay has already read Flawless, but she wants to reread it. And so she's going to be rereading it as I'm reading it for the first time. And so I'm so excited for this. Zay, we're going to have a blast with this. The next one on my list is because of Caitlin from The Love Librarian. I really want to read Next of Kin by Hannah Bonham Young. I read her sapphic Christmas novella um, already in December and I loved it. I gave it five stars. It was so good. I loved it. And so I was like, you know what? We're gonna be picking up some of our other books. This is the romance between Chloe and Warren. And I think both of them are trying to get custody of their siblings because for whatever reasons, their parents cannot take care of each other, but CPS declines both of them due to certain situations. And so they encourage them to get together so they can have custody because I think he doesn't have good housing and she doesn't have enough money. And so if they come together and they like get together, like fake date or get together, or whatever, actually get together, like they can, like she has a good home. He has enough money, you know, like they'll help each other get custody of their siblings. And so yeah, I think they have to probably live together. Um, and yeah, they're going to try and help each other get custody of their siblings. And then they fall in love with each other. That's all I know. Caitlin talks about this author's books so much. And I'm so, I'm so excited to read this. I'm trying to read more of Brittany Cherry's backlist because I adore her. So I'm going to be reading the next book in the Compass series for me. This one is Eastern Lights. All I know about this is that it is a second chance romance, okay? And that's all I want to know. I love going into her books blind. So let me know in the comments what you think about this book. And then I only have a few other books left by Brittany Cherry before I've read all of her backlist. And so I need to get to reading more of her books. Next, I'd love to read this one. This is King of Sword and Sky by C.L. Wilson. This is her third book in the Terran Soul fantasy romance series that I've been obsessed with during the later half of 2022 that I just can't shut up about. Like they are so entertaining and good. This is a fantasy romance series dealing with faded mates, magical creatures, shifters, magic, hidden identity, identity you didn't know about, like secret past. Like it's so good. The faded mate part in this book, amazing. I love it so much. That's all I can say because this is book three in the series. And like the Akatar books, it is about the same couple in each book which I love. I love fantasy romances that span a long time, honestly. This is about Eliseta and um, Rain at Terran Soul, and he claims her as his mate, and it's so good. I then really would love to read Titan by Jillian Graves. I read Blood Moon in October, loved it, and so I need to read her debut. I also know that book two in the series is coming out in 2023, so I really want to be caught up with this series. And I just love Julian Graves and her TikToks and her whole personality. I adore her. And so I really want to read more of her books. This is a Gargoyle romance. <laughs> and that's all I want to say. 
it's it's a gargoyle monster romance and so i want to know like i went into blood moon kind of wine and so i'm gonna do the same thing for titan then the last book on my tbr <laughs> the cover is ridiculous okay but i've heard great things about this series um this is mama and the alien warrior by honey phillips so i first read honey phillips Earlier this year, I read her Seven Brides for Seven Alien Brothers series, and I loved them. They were so entertaining, very campy, okay, like, I get it, but they were so entertaining to read. And so this is her series that people absolutely love. Um, this is her Treasured by the Alien series. And so I want to read the summary for this one because I'm really interested in it. The tagline, the top line says, Can a weary warrior and an abductive single mom save each other? Abby Wentworth never regretted abandoning her corporate career to adopt her orphaned niece and run a maternity home. But she certainly never expected to find herself and her girls abducted by aliens who intended to sell them as breeders? Whoa. <laughs> when they are rescued by a massive alien and his crew, desires she long suppressed start to surface. She finds herself unexpectedly drawn to the captain who treats both her and her daughter with unwavering devotion. Until his ship intercepts an illegal Videkian trader, Captain Herbeck is resigned to spending his life alone. The sires lost their females to a plague many years ago. Now for the first time, this luscious human female has him longing for a mate and a family. But Abby has to get her girls back to Earth and Herbeck, Herbeck? I can't pronounce his name, y'all. It's an alien name. <laughs> and Herbeck might have one last chance to save his race. Will their duties force them apart or will they finally find a family of their own? I've heard great things about these books in this series. I know the cover is a little ridiculous, but you know what? So are the IPB covers. And I love those books, so. Anyways, there you have it. Those are all of the books that I will hopefully be reading in January. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, that's okay. You can leave me an alien emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I'll see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.